Happy 4th of July, everybody. Um, if you remember one of my most recent popular videos of where an excavator ran over a well and I had to repair it, I went back to that job yesterday because the family who has that property is finally in for the 4th of July and they had low water pressure. First time that they've been in since the well got ran over. And if you remember, I didn't charge the guy anything who ran it over because we traded and he helped me come to my house and fix my septic system. So, went there yesterday and I was able to access underneath the crawl space because it was originally sealed up and locked so I couldn't even get in there and look at the tank. But when we fixed it that day, the system ran fine. Everything operated fine, everything was good to go. Yesterday I went there the bladder tank was at like 11 PSI, so it was very, very low as to why they were getting low water pressure. After I, I air up the tank, look at the filter, everything runs good. We ran the water in the house for probably 15 minutes. Everything looked good. They called me about six hours later and said that they had low pressure again. So now I don't really know what's going on. Uh, part of me feels like maybe they're draining the water level down to the entrance of the pump because um, that pump's only at 100 feet deep. So I don't really know what I'm gonna find, but I know it is 7.50 on 4th of July. 10 days ago, my mom came back home from Orlando, Florida with either the flu or COVID. Then dad got it four days ago. And now I woke up this morning feeling like absolute dog crap. So I'm going out to their house because it's the 4th of July. Everybody in their family's coming there today or tomorrow and they can't do anything without water. So I got to go to work. I was supposed to have today off. I got to get all my stuff. I got to get pipe. I got to get pump. I got to get a tank. I got to get wire. I got to get all my tools. Do it all by myself. Go all the way out there feeling like this. But it's 4th of July. I feel bad for them. So we're going to go see what it is we find. And when I get all done, I'll post this video today. So happy 4th of July, everybody. Cool. Got a brand new tank. Got a brand new pump. We got a whole bucket of parts. Got my tool bag. Got a full roll of wire and a full roll of pipe. And I got my pop-up tent just in case things get bad. All right. 8.37 and we are out here this morning. All right, let's see. My first thought. Look at that little mouse. Hey, little mouse. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. You're so cute. Come on. Get on. There you go. There you go. Get on. All right, well, she's not running. At least it doesn't feel like she's deadhead and running. I'm sorry, but there's a shit ton of pressure here. <laughs> oh my god. What really stinks is that when the well got ran over, I believe the tag must have gotten lost. Because I don't have a tag here. But I know the pump is at 100 foot. So what we're going to do, we're going to run some water and we're going to watch the amp draw. You see if maybe maybe the pump is uh, overheating. I don't know. It's a 2017 model. Yeah, pulling right, right where it should be. Oh, now it's decreased. It did get lower right there for a second. Maybe it's just a deep static level. Pump things work fine though. I'm gonna sit here and run it to see if I can run the well dry. Cause that's really what I think they were doing. I think they were running the well dry. I'm gonna time it and see how long it takes to uh, to run consistently. Cause they were pressure washing the house yesterday and washing the boat and stuff like that. And then they came inside, she took a shower and then they had pressure problems. So every every indication of that was the well was was, was not filling up as fast as it should. Well, after about 15 minutes, everything still ran fine. So I went ahead, disconnected the plumbing, and we're gonna go ahead and monitor the water level. Yeah. 
wide open it's still when it's 40 feet so the pump is not the problem and the water level is not the problem because the pump's at 100 foot they'd have to be using a serious amount of water to even think about getting it down that deep right now with all the water i've ran that thing should be at 80 foot if the well wasn't producing I'm gonna keep running it for about another 20 minutes. That'll be 200 gallons of water. And we'll see if uh, if we draw the water level down to like 80 foot or something. But if the water level never gets to say 80 foot, then we don't have an issue with the well or the pump. All right, it was at 52 foot when we just cut it off. Let's see what it's at now. Damn, okay. Within five minutes, it came up 10 feet. So that's that's uh that's pretty pretty quick okay yeah we're definitely not draining the well dry the pump pulls fine amps so this is not our issue maybe we have a big plug of sediment buildup in the bottom of the tank t um he says when it first kicks on he has good pressure after about five seconds the pressure goes down i noticed that out here and you probably noticed it on the video i'll make a, a point to reference the the pressure and then the drop um but i'm gonna go ahead and glue this back together and i gotta fix i think i broke this i saw it dripping after so i'm just gonna replace that so i don't have the call back out here we're gonna hook a hose up to the tank and uh see if we get a shit ton of sediment out of the bottom of the tank i got the well head all plumbed back up went under the house shut the house off and i hooked up this to the bottom drain so i really want to see what the first amount of water that comes out of this hose looks like oh yeah there it is look at it all Yep. Yep. That was a big indicator. We've got a uh, bottom of a tank that needs to be flushed out. First little bit of water came out was dark as hell. Look at it slowing down. Look at it slowing down. This is what he said it does. <clears throat> See how it's slowing down? That's crazy. Now look at that, look at how powerful it is. It just kicked on. That's so nuts, man. Let's see if it drops. Yeah, it looked like that improved, didn't it? It did, it did. Yeah, you probably do need to flush your water heater. We're just gonna let it run. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Because yeah. if it drops back down, then we know something is screwy. So I decided to run all the water into a bucket. I went under the house and uh, turned the pressure switch on off and on off and on off a bunch of times to get the water to hammer. And water to hammer, letting the tank build all the way up to 60 and then letting it drain all the way to zero. That way I could get that instant burst of water to flush and hit any of the stuff that was uh, in there. We, we filled this bucket for like 15 minutes and it was fine. And then when I went under the house and I started messing with the pressure switch, you can just see all that sediment. All that was in the pipe, probably in the three quarter inch PEX line and the little one inch tank T. Let's drain this thing on down. That's a lot. That's a lot of sediment. Yeah, look at that. And that's what we caught. That's what we caught in the bucket. That's not what we have already put out in the yard. Okay, well, I think we found our problem. Plugged up pipe. Well, we are all done. I went ahead and changed out his water filter, so he's got a brand new 5 micron element in it. And just so anybody's wondering, if you want to know what was plugged up, this right here had sediment build up in it, okay? So when the pump would kick on, water would transition straight across and they'd have really good pressure. But as soon as the pump would kick off, it was getting water out of the, the bladder tank. So this one inch pipe was probably reduced to about half of an inch because it settles in the bottom of a circle it settles into like the shape of a u so it plugs up like 50 percent of it and 
when we started flushing it with the boiler drain here, I went to shut it off and I could feel all the grit that was in the, the shut off valve here. So I knew there was a lot of grit. And then you can look over here on the ground from like changing a water filter out, all that, all that old sediment right there. So this well just is notorious for having large volumes of sediment. And because they don't live here, this is a secondary home, it gives it the opportunity to settle and not flush. If it was regularly used, then it would constantly have water flowing through it and less of an opportunity for sediment to build up. So, the but I believe the true main cause of this was the fact that that bladder tank only had like 10 or 11 pounds of pressure yesterday. And then when we aired it up, that's when all the sediment gets pushed out because now the tank is self-cleaning again. And then it just kind of exacerbated itself and made more of an issue. Because after I did that yesterday, we ran the water for quite a while and everything was fine. Um, but, uh, you know, after that, maybe a bunch of sediment let go out of the tank and got trapped right there in the tank tee. But everything seems to be working good. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I think we got it flushed. We saw all that in the, in the tank. Yeah, see, from changing the filter, there's just a lot of a lot of sediment that comes in that water. But all right, let's go ahead and get on out of here. Now, before we left, we decided to go ahead and flush this hot water heater too. So everything looks good there. I think this system should be up and up and good to go now. Hoo I feel like dog crap. Well, I finally made it home, stopped by CVS, and we've got a positive COVID test. Sucks. Hope y'all have a happy fourth. I'm going to be chilling in my chair for the next few days. Peace.